G'day, well it's very, very early in the morning. Robbo sitting in the passenger seat holding the camera. We're headed west towards St George, doing some prospecting or metal detecting. The story is a mate of mine found an old house site out there. And the interesting thing about this house site is that it's on a travelling stock route, which means that it's had a lot of travelling over the years. It's also a staging post for the Cobb & Co days. Now what that means is that two Cobb & Co coaches used to come from different directions. They'd change their load over and head back the way they came and get fresh horses at that location. So there's a good chance that there's some Cobb & Co stuff, there's some uh, historic stuff from the Australian early farming days because it was on the travelling stock route. And also we've got this house site, some tree stumps and things like that. So we'll head out there and have a look, see what we can find. You know where we're going, Robbo? <laughs> no, I don't know where we're going. I'll just look on the map here. I haven't got a clue where we're going. We're heading that way, west. <laughs> I haven't told you yet, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get you to put the blindfold on shortly, okay? Oh, okay. That'll be good. Yeah, I'm just looking on the GPS map. I can see we're going west, that's all I can tell. On autopilot now, mate. Yeah. Drives itself now. Uh, bloody Seven. fog's bad, isn't it? It is. 17 degrees outside, not too bad. Warming up. <laughs> what well, is it even the compass tells us we're heading west. There you go, we're not lying. <laughs> well, unfortunately, we're almost to Dolby. We've had to have an emergency pit stop. Time for a fag. <laughs> we're just heading out of, um, what are we heading out of? Dolby. Dolby. Heading out of Dolby at the moment. Getting a bit of rain but out here. Absolutely perfect detecting weather. It's pissing down. <laughs> there it is. Ho ho, ho ho. Detecting we must go. Can I guess? <laughs> Eight kilometers. Where are we now, Dave? Do you, don't you know? <laughs> I thought you knew where we were. <laughs> um, there's a thing on the GPS screen, but there's no road on there. <laughs> well, this is our first stop. As you can see, there's a water tank stand there. There's an old stumps of old houses. Something was here at some stage. Fairly long time ago, though. Did it? Did it? There's three distinct signals there. Two crap and one good. Yeah. <laughs> you reckon? Let's have a look. What's that? One crap. Twenty-two. Twenty-two shell. Oops, the first one's over here. Roundness in the hole. Roundness? A coin? No. Oh. A flat washer. A washer. Hang on, we'll keep going. There we go. Up on the hill. In the middle. In the middle. This was the better signal. I can find it. Oh. Oh, I can see it. Yes, a bit of silver. That's thrippence, is it? Yeah. 1950, not real old, but yeah. 1950 thrippence. Very good. Silver. What have you got? Sorry, what was that? A, I got uh, a penny. penny. I got a penny. That's not silver, is it? No. Yeah, but I got it within the first 30 yeah, seconds. Yeah, it's not silver, get... is it? No, no, this is silver. But I got it within 30 seconds of getting out the car. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even have the camera going. But I'll show it. Wait on, where is it? There it is. Got out the car, 30 seconds, bang. What colour is that? Brown, is it? Is that brown? No, it's green, actually. See the green... <laughs> what do you call it? Yeah, anyway. Patina. That's it. What you found, Robbo? I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know. This back, this back part. 
comes off as well. I thought it was part of a toy gun revolver or something, but I don't think so. It's I don't know. I don't know what it is. Is it silver? No, it's not silver. It's gold. <laughs> We've been here a couple of hours. We've given it a good work over. We haven't found a lot. One penny, two threepences. One of the threepences is a, an old one. The other one, uh, 27, I think it is. The other one's about a 50. Pennies are 47. Nothing really old. But there is an awful lot of bullets. It's making it almost impossible to detect here. There wouldn't be one square foot without a bullet casing. Traffic lights out in the middle of nowhere. Holding us up from valuable metal detecting time. Bloody roadworks! Bloody roadworks! Everywhere we go there's bloody roadworks. Mm. There's a long stretch ahead of us too, this one. We're just setting up camp. Dave's got his um, super duper swag going up. It's pretty flash. Oh mate, I can't help myself. What's that, coin? What is that much is it? Who needs a detector? Ten cent piece. Oh, right. Spendable. <laughs> bit dark, Robbo. Yeah, a little bit. You know the sun's gone down? What you do when you're desperate. I think it's a bottle top. Sounds like a bottle top to me. See this, see this, put the camera around here, on the numbers, that's got a good confidence readout, see it's on, a, it's on a steady number, and this little gauge to the left, but it's overloading, it's, it's going to be, I don't know what it's going to be, but it's going to be crap. Too high a number. No, it's not too high a number, but it's something big anyway, so yeah. I wouldn't dig that. Hang on, hang on, just back up a minute, put the title on. Why wouldn't you dig that? <laughs> 50 cents. Yeah. I thought it was a penny. <laughs> That's your point. <laughs> Keep going, Robbo. You're on fire, mate. See, the confidence is all up. I should, I should have you said... You should have believed... When it, it says confidence, I should... Fucking you should have believe it. the detector, not yourself. I saw then. I should... Well, I shouldn't have Now look at the confidence meter. Trust the meter, mate. Okay, the meter's the meter's good on whatever that is. Uh, something, something glittering there in the dark. I would definitely dig that. You don't need to. It's on the surface. I don't have to dig it. Oh, look at that. What is it? I don't know. Gold ring brooch. <laughs> I don't know. It looks like a an ornate ring. That's oh, look at that. that mate, that's a hundred percent pure diamond. What the hell is this? Has it got some... I think that's a ring with a big flash top on it. Oh, it is. It's a junk. Dress ring. It's a junk. Do you yeah. really play? No, no, no. No. hundred percent diamond. Don't bust it. No, look. I'm going to see it with yeah. it, see? Yeah, see? That's, that that's mate, a big flower with a diamond in the middle. That is a that is pure diamond. <laughs> I reckon that's 24 karat gold. <laughs> that's amazing. I'll take that home for the missus. I'll just clean it up and give it to her for her birthday. Well, it's pretty early, probably about six o'clock, the sun's just up. Robbo's a little bit behind me getting out of bed. This is our second area we're trying. This is an old racetrack. But before it was a racetrack, it was a town. They've actually moved the town now. But there was a town hall here, there was monthly dances, there was a community building. There's lots of activity in this particular area, hard to believe it now. They moved the town because of flooding. Moved it probably 500 yards away, that's all. So we'll see what we find here. Oh, 
Colleen Hall. Ram's head. Harmonica reed, maybe. We found Robbo. Oh, this is just like an old log splitter. A penny of some sort. Oh yeah, that's old. Lovely green patina. Beautiful. I'll clean that up later and have a look. What you got, Robbo? Oh, I just got a nice sixpence. Now that hole. Nineteen thirty-six. Nineteen thirty-six. Yeah. Nice soil to dig. Beautiful. Coins come out all right too. Very easy to dig. Yeah, no. Don't know about this one. One there. One there. Easy to dig in it. I reckon. Great. Nail. Oh. going to be a coin, huh, does it? Whatever it is, it's small. It is a nail. Is, it? Yeah. is that the one you've been looking for? I don't know. Because <laughs> you were throwing nails around, weren't you? <laughs> Would I do that to you? I'll just check them. It didn't look like a bloody nail on the meter. Oh, it's in there. This is the one I want, it's in here. You didn't check that pile. No. Uh-huh. Make it this way. Well, you know, I know it might be. Coin. Yeah. A black coin. A half penny. I've got a roux on it, so it's not real old, but. 1950. That's an exact match for the penny that I found a few minutes ago. Yeah. 1950. Yeah. Dig that one? Yeah, that's a digger. I'm not sure what it is, but I can tell you what it isn't. <laughs> what isn't it? It isn't a florin.
It's a big bottle top. What's it say on the top, the name? Rawley's. Who? Rawley's. It's a great Australian company, still going today. Yeah, they make. They make all sorts of medications for coughs, colds, sore holes and pimples on your dick. Oh, okay. We've got Robbo. Got another sixpence. How old, man? Oh, man. Yeah, oh, that's that's no good, mate. Throw it away. Yeah. Throw it away. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How's this? The only truck we've seen in, in ages. Have a, have a go look at this. Give me the camera. Have a look at that windscreen. You see that? It's stuck. <laughs> We'd be 10 seconds later or earlier from we might have missed it. We're moving on to another location. Uh, we finished at the uh, the old uh, racecourse town. We're now on our way home, but we're just going to stop off at a spot I've been to before. It's a town that used to be here. There was a courthouse, there was a police station, there was four pubs, one on each corner of the of the town. But I've been here before, and there is absolutely nothing. The town pulled out because of floods in the 19, well, early 1900s and it's just all overgrown. There's absolutely nothing left here now except bush. But I'm sure there must be something here. I just haven't been able to find it yet. I've found a bottle dump, old 1800s bottles, uh, a few other bits and pieces. But if you go back through the records, there are actually people sentenced at the courthouse. There was a jail here. Um, the local police officer, there's a story about his wife being dying in childbirth and her grave. We found that. So there's a fair bit of history here dating back to the middle 1800s. But we just haven't found any anything worth finding yet. So hopefully, we're only going to spend an hour or so here, we might find something. Cattle ahead, see the sign? I had to see it without a head. Oh. Get out the way! <laughs> It's a standoff. Oh, now yeah. I win. <laughs> They're all looking. Oh, what's going Look on? Out. Look out! <laughs> what colour's this car? <laughs> Is that like waving a red flag to a bull? <laughs> mm, doing a bit of bush bashing now, eh? House of some sort. In fact, right there is our fire from last time I was here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> frustrating, Robbo? It is. Very frustrating. Huge place. Absolutely massive. You don't even know which direction to walk, to look. And you have to use the GPS because you would not find your way back here, would I you? I would have got lost. I had it marked on my phone where the car was because I wouldn't have had any chance of finding the car again. This, this is really the only sort of good clear area. The rest of it's all bushed in. But, um, yeah, there's tiny little clearings here and there. There's wild pigs in there. There's kangaroos in there. Yeah, and there's big spiders. I almost walked into one. Did you have a good time? Yeah, it's good. It's been a good weekend. No, oh, not weekend. What is it? Midweek. It's what weekend for us what old fellas. I don't know what day it is. What is today? Well, once again, this location has frustrated the heck out of us. We know for a fact that there was a town here. There was four pubs, there was a police station, there was a courthouse even. We've even seen records of people charged at the courthouse and sentenced. The local police officer's wife died. We found a grave. Everything is here except coins or anything valuable or any positive proof we found the actual site. What we did find today is some getting close, uh, part of a spoon with some hall marks on it, shards of pottery. This is really old stuff. And also some shirt buttons and a harmonica reed. Now they're all signs that there was a civilization here. We just can't find any coins where the pubs were. Even though we've overlaid GPS marks and old original historic maps, what we think might have happened is that they gazetted the town, but when they actually built the town, it's a long way from where the, the boffins in the offices decide to put a town, the people who actually got out here may have shifted things around a little bit. It may not be exactly where it was supposed to be. Don't know. We'll be back. I know that. This is the fifth time I've been here. 
I'm still hoping for to find another load. We had a pretty good couple of days out here. Altogether, I think there's probably half a dozen or so silvers. Robbo's found a couple of really nice sixpences here. I think the oldest one is yeah, that one. 1903. That's a, uh, a bit worn, but that's a beautiful coin. I found some thrippences and uh, a ram's head shilling. 1950 penny. I found uh, six dollars in spendables. Not enough to get us home, but it goes in the coin jar for the next sounder. That 50 cent GPS, that 50 cent piece that Robbo said was junk. We've also, the coin of the day of the trip, I suppose, is this 1897 penny. Beautiful green patina, black, almost black coloured. That's the oldest coin of the trip. But all in all, we had a lot of fun. We found a few other things, a few intricate pieces. Goodness knows what that is. Robbo thinks it's. Uh, a revolver of someone famous bush ranger <laughs> I'm not sure <laughs> uh, this beautiful ring that Robbo found 100% 18 karat gold <laughs> and uh, a beautiful big solid diamond super glued in there lovely piece of work this is interesting Robbo found this this is uh, some sort of little gas light uh, sorry lighter fluid you unscrew the bottom here and you see it's got uh, some cloth in there that you pour the lighter fluid in there and uh, to, you pull this string here. When you pull the string, what actually happens is the wick is uncovered and it's pulled down and surround, shaded by this windbreak here. Some sort of uh, lighter, I'd say, or some sort of heater or maybe uh, maybe a lamp. Not really sure. As you put it up, it actually puts it out again. It looks like it'll still work, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think it'd still work, right? Mm. Um, mm -hmm. The usual buckles, little bits of steel and other sort of crap. And uh, this one will follow this up as well. It's got some writing, something silvery looking on it. Not quite sure what that is. But all in all, a great trip. Good couple of days. Nothing fantastic, but um, we had a good time anyway.